All right, ladies and gentlemen, quick, no effort review of Dynamite right here in the Facebook group there, Wrestling Juggernauts there, where I can just do a quick video with zero effort or whatever there. Get two likes, get one like, I don't know there, but... Little bit of wrestling talk in the group there. Um, MJF and Orange Cassidy both won the Dynamite Diamond Battle Royal. Um, that's a lot of words there. Dynamite, Dynamite, Battle Royal. It's a lot of words after fucking... Um, so they, they both won, and then next week they wrestle, and the winner gets that goofy ring or whatever. Um, the highlight of this match was Rusev, an attempt to try to book Rusev strong while still jobbing to a bunch of losers or whatever there. Because people have been criticizing Rusev the way they handled him, so... You can see they're going out of their way there. Oh, it took three men to eliminate him. And then he came back. Oh, he's pissed off here. He was very dominant in this match. But he's still a loser there. Next. Second match, Jericho defeated Kazarian. An okay match, I guess. And I like to see this one-on-one -on -one matches between wrestlers. You know what I mean? Not just a bunch of goofy tag team wrestling. Notice there's one tag match on this show and it looks better, the show. Not a whole bunch of identical tag matches between midgets. It feels better when it's, you know, more one-on-one -on -one matches. Second match, or third match, Britt Baker defeated legit Layla Hirsch. Um, Layla Hirsch, she's kind of like a midget, I guess. I don't know, like four foot tall. Um, apparently, she's legit. She kind of looks like Shayna Baszler a little bit, so not very pretty. They're short, like really, really short. And apparently she's an amateur wrestler. She had a scholarship for wrestling, but she didn't go so she could make it pro. So basically could have went to college and didn't go or whatever. So if she gets hurt in two years, she'll have nothing to fall back on there. But she's very, very short. So if she falls, she doesn't have from high to go. They're very short or whatever. Um, so yeah, she's short, she's an Olympic wrestler, she's, she's like some kind of Kurt Angle ripoff or something, she's basically like Chad Gable, short, Kurt Angle ripoff wearing a singlet and just looks weird or whatever there, Britt Baker won. Um, they should put the belt on Britt Baker since she's the only woman wrestler that's worth a damn in the company there. Fourth match, Cody and Darby Allen defeated Powerhouse Hobbs there and Ricky Starks. And then afterwards, Sting came out, ladies and gentlemen, Sting there. He's 60 years old, stuff like this, but you put Sting on the show and it makes the company look better. It just does. Because now it looks like WCW officially there. WCW's back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Sting and Arn Anderson in the ring there. They're too old to wrestle. I don't. Maybe Sting can have cinematic matches or something there that's going to boost viewership. In the short term, there, you know, Sting was in TNA as well, and TNA, we, we know how that happened there, so is Sting going to change things? Yes, for the short term. Will it bring him to a million views? Possibly there, but not enough to, you know, I saw people in the group writing that they were going to overtake McMahon because <laughs> of Sting. <laughs> 
But uh, you know, if they bring CM Punk, maybe sign Brock Lesnar, maybe they could have higher views. But Sting will definitely bump the viewership. Maybe a few cinematic matches, but like I said, with Sting there, it kind of feels bigger now than what 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 it really is, you know. Fifth match, Kenny Omega defeated John Moxley there with the help of Don Callis. A decent match, I guess. Not a great match. Not a seven star match. Just. A bunch of knees in the face with some outside interference, pretty much. And then when they won, Callis and Omega left, like, in a hurry kind of deal. Oh, my God, they jobbed us. This is bullshit. They were trying to make it sound bigger than what it was there. But apparently... They're going to be going to Impact or something. They're like, oh, we'll see you. We'll see you next Tuesday. But Dynamite's on Thursday. Oh, we're going to be on Access TV. Nobody has the channel. What? Nobody's got access. This should be a big moment for AEW. It should be tune in next week on AEW for all the stuff there. But instead, they're going to impact. <laughs> Kenny Omega got to be on Impact Wrestling. Maybe Rich Swan going to appear in AEW. Um, so this is going to be good for Impact, I guess. Will this help AEW in any way? Probably not. There. Probably not. There ain't much in Impact there. I don't. But it is what it is, folks. It's it's the Indies, and gentlemen. Kenny Omega has now won the title, and he's going to boost the viewership thanks to Sting. Sting is going to boost a bit of the viewership. Kenny Omega, it's going to be sink or swim. Boy. Let's see what this Japanese can do in America or whatever. Um, but it was a, a better show than usual Thanks to Sting. If it wasn't for Sting, it wouldn't have been that good or whatever there. Even the world title match wasn't that impressive. There. But Sting, I mean, maybe Sting is going to bring in the union or something and then retire with his old man pension next year or something. We'll see what's going to happen there. We'll see what's going to happen there. Stay. Oh, I got to stay.